maintaining and improving the 236 miles of road between the Oklahoma border and Kansas City takes a team with unique skills, a unified vision, and dedication to customer service. The Kansas Turnpike Authority invites you behind the scenes to see how projects go from concepts on a page to completed projects built for the growth of Kansas. Right now we have more engineering projects in the pipeline than ever before. I started at the Turnpike in 1994 as a design construction engineer and in 2005 became chief engineer. With the release of the long-term need study, we've given the public a pretty good look at how we plan which projects we're going to do and what we think is in store for the next 10 years. Engineering handles projects from conception to completion. A significant portion of the effort to complete a project is performed before we actually begin construction. During the pre-construction phase, we handle surveying, design, permitting, right-of-way acquisition, utility relocation, and bid letting. Surveying is a key component of pre-construction, but it's not just the first step. Every part of a construction project is located by a surveyor. Surveying is about collecting data so we can map out the construction plans. You can do that on the ground with traditional instruments, but for some larger projects, it is actually easier to get in a plane or use a drone. This data is all compiled into thousands of reference points used throughout the project. So after the initial survey, we begin a preliminary design. This includes geotechnical testing to determine the composition and stability of the area. We look at traffic projections and we develop a plan for erosion control for the construction site. We look at the entire drainage area and we determine what permits will be required. We establish right-of-way needs and we also identify utilities that are in conflict and will need to be moved. Uh, permitting is perhaps the trickiest phase of the construction process. Uh, if you don't properly identify all the necessary permits, someone's going to end up in hot water. Uh, the bulk of permits are environmental, usually about water waste or wildlife. Uh, we have to get these from both the state and the federal government. Uh, we don't have control over the permitting process, so we don't know how long the process is going to take. Uh, some permits are received quickly in, say, three months, while others have taken uh, over a year to get. When preliminary design is done, we start with right-of-way acquisition. We get data from the surveyors and design team to determine the land needed for the project. Any land not already owned by the KTA is appraised and we purchase it from the property owner. This is never a fun or easy task, but without the property we would not be able to build the project. Utility relocation is necessary when water, power, gas, cable, oil, foam, fiber lines, or other utilities need to be moved due to construction. These are identified by surveyors and can be located underground or overhead. The KTA meets with utility providers, usually on site, to make sure everyone is on the same page. Uh, the utility providers create a relocation plan, which we review, and once everyone agrees, the plan is complete. When our project plans reach about 50%, work on the final design begins. At this stage, we know where the project is going to be and all its important characteristics. We use all the information to solidify our final design. It's really the point in the project where making major changes to the scope becomes costly or time consuming. The end of the final design results in a complete set of plans, specifications, and project cost estimate that are ready for use in the project letting. The final phase of pre-construction is bid letting and document preparation project plans, specifications, and supporting reports are gathered for final approval. After approval has been given, we have companies bid for the contract. Once a bid is selected, the KTA board must approve them before we can start construction. All this pre-construction work happens before you ever notice construction equipment around the road. We put in a lot of hard work to make sure when construction begins, it happens as safely and quickly as possible. Hopefully this look behind the scenes has shown you that even in pre-construction, our mission is to provide safe, economical, high quality transportation service for you.